it's been a little while since I've uploaded anything to YouTube, and um, I have no apologies. It's because I don't think you guys are too mad, but that's whatever. <sighs> I think the last time I locked off, I was maybe three weeks out from my show, or four. I no, oh, three weeks into prep, which means I was maybe like ten weeks out from my show. And, uh, yeah, let's do a little bit of a recap and talk about what I've been doing and how the show went and, uh, yeah, let's get to it. So as some of you know, I did my bodybuilding prep, which was geared for both men's physique and classic physique. Um, so... For those who don't know the difference, men's physique is the one where you do two poses. You do a front pose and a back pose, and you wear board shorts, which go down to a little bit above the knee or at the knee. Depends on the organization or the style that you prefer. Uh, and then classic physique, you use more of a speedo style posing trunk, uh, which differs itself from the more man thong style bodybuilding trunk. Much, much prefer the Speedo style, it's a little more comfy, and actually it was quite comfy. The, the, the Jed North posing trunks, fire, would wear those as underwear. <laughs> In any case, the show was a great success, we had a lot of fun, uh, met a lot of cool people, and it was phenomenal. They put on a very good show. I was very impressed, um, especially since, given the circumstances with the uh, the C word, which I don't know if I'm allowed to say on, talk about on YouTube, but we, despite all that, we had a show, there was an audience, and um, we performed, and it went very smoothly, from a, an athlete's perspective, at least. I don't know what was going on behind the scenes. But it seemed to be run very smoothly. Uh, so let's talk about how the show itself went. So, as you know, my goal, of course, was to place in both categories. Um, for my height, in both categories, I was class B because I was under 5'10. <clears throat> I thought I was going to be 5'10. That was. A disappointment. I am five nine and a quarter according to their measurements, which I find both funny and sad because I thought I was taller. It is what it is. Um, on show day, I weighed in at 164 pounds, or the day before show day, so the Friday when they at during check-ins they weighed me in at 164, and that was for classic physique. For those who don't know. The weight cap for Classic Physique in Class B, which is 5'10 and below, is 197. So I was weighing in quite, quite lower than what the weight cap could potentially be. So, um, it was what it was, and that is okay. So, despite this very light weigh-in, um... We were still excited. I was, it was very, very fun to go through the whole process. And um, I was a little bit stressed out by the tan because they had a new system of doing things uh, where they would contact all the athletes um, that registered with them. And this is the tan that went, that was with the show. They, I guess, they were the, the promoted tanning company. Um, they contact everyone on the Wednesday slash the Thursday morning uh, before the show, which for me is very stressful because I like to get things done and organized <laughs> at least a week and a half before I have to, so I don't have to worry about it. But it's all resolved, and the tan was phenomenal. I was very impressed by. The professionalism that they showed both during the tanning procedure and like just 
they were just a fun group. Chatted a bunch. They were awesome. Uh, <clears throat> that's absolute touch. They were magnificent. And no, this is not promoted. I'm not paid to shout them out. They really did a good job, and I'm very impressed by them. Yeah, so uh, the day before the show went super smooth, um, and we registered. I was <laughs> the first person there. I had my lucky number 13 as my number, so I was very excited about that. And uh, they actually asked if I wanted to switch it, to which I responded no, because the number of St. Anthony, and I'm not very religious, but I am Italian, and it's, it's lucky for us. Anyways, it's all good. <clears throat> the rest of the Friday before the day of went super smoothly, got everything done, got the tan on, um, was not as dark as I anticipated, and but of course it was dark enough, and it was a very good quality. It was a good color. I liked it. It was good. Anyways, moving on from the tan, because I feel like I keep talking about it. I want to talk about Peak Week. So let's talk about Peak Week. Peak Week. Let's say it one more time. Let's say it one more time. Peak Week went phenomenally. The only thing I think I should have changed is perhaps either carving up earlier or more. Uh, and that is because I found that from after viewing pictures of me on stage, I... Uh, think I could have been a bit fuller. Um, I was of course shredded. I brought the conditioning. I was very happy with the level of conditioning that it brought. It was, we did it. Um, but I could have been a bit fuller and I think that took away a bit and I'll tell you why later in the video. So the way that I did my peak week, I did of course, so for from Tuesday to Thursday, I did keto, which was terrible. Uh, not a fun experience, but it was what it was. And it was, I, I can't really say that it wasn't a good experience because I enjoy the process. Uh, would I do it year round? No, no, never. But, and I don't understand how people can do keto year round and just live life in keto because the three days were terrible. Terrible, and I was tired the entire time. <clears throat> Excuse me. And along with that, I was also water loading with distilled water. That's a, a dis the distilled water is a trick that I've used since 2018 for uh, peak week. And what I did, had done differently this time around was I basically drank eight liters of water from Monday to Thursday, and then Friday, cut the water out. Well, didn't cut it out completely. I had just one of these, which is about a liter and a half, maybe less, of the distilled water. And then the Saturday of the show, I was just sort of sipping on this, on a second one. And I would like to take this the opportunity to tell you that this is what I tried it kind of, it, it worked for me you don't have to do this I'm not your coach I'm not your doctor shout out to coach Greg it's not it's not necessarily the safest option it's what I chose to try <clears throat> you don't need to try it and that, with that out of the way um, I went, as I said, keto for three days, water loading for four days, and the Friday of the show removed most of the water, not all of it, because I still needed to function a little bit. And I started carb loading. And so I thought I'd, once again, shout out to Coach Greg, took, the, took his approach and just would eat as much as I could of um, carbs. So we started with a lot of candy. I had a few chocolate bars, had a lot of rice cakes. My go-to was, of course, the best one, which I have here, the caramel chocolate chip 
which is phenomenal, even if you're not craving carbs. And if, I feel it went well. One thing I think I could have done differently and will probably do differently next time is obviously eating more. And uh, that is to say that I most likely did not eat enough the day before the show. I know. And the reason I say, <clears throat> the reason I say that I don't think I eat, ate enough the day before the show, uh, slash should have started carving up perhaps Thursday before the show, is because Saturday evening I had a pizza. We had pizza. It was delightful. It was so missed, and I needed it, and it was delightful. The following day, I was full AF. I was just poof, poof, veins popping. It was phenomenal great I loved it <clears throat> that being said next time I'll be having pizza the Friday before the show <laughs> that way the Saturday morning when I really need the veins to pop and everything to just be full I'll be doing that instead we did not place as well as we hoped in classic so we're going into this show I had hoped to just wipe the floor with everybody that did not happen I was a bit cocky and it happens I my head was feeling real big in any case I ended up placing fourth out of six in classic physique but I also walked away with best poser in classic and that there was the biggest win for me the whole day <clears throat> Because I, I do take a lot of time to practice my posing in the gym between sets, outside of the gym, doing just regular day. Um, so I was very happy with that to walk away with that. It 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 was it was the highlight of the day to walk away with best poser. Didn't get a plaque or anything for it, but I, it's it's here. I got a, a gift basket and I've eaten everything in the gift basket. <laughs> Just, except for all the supplements, I got some really good pre-workout. So, been gonna be gonna be pacing myself with that. Uh, so I placed fourth in classic physique, and then for men's physique, for my category, I placed first, which was I don't want to say I expected it, because backstage everyone looked very good. They were a stacked lineup, and I think the only this is no judgment on the other competitors but the only one of the big reasons that I think I walked away with first is because the way I present my physique on stage with my posing and whatnot I was able to display my strong points a lot better than some of some of the the other competitors may not have posed quite as um, in a flattering way that might have display their physique in in a way that would flatter them better if that makes sense they could have posed better to display a very because they all looked fantastic they looked fantastic um but in any case near here neither here nor there and they all worked very hard and they were all really cool uh and yeah then for the overall in men's physique, took that home as well. I now have the trophy of a dude doing this, and it is awesome, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, the other competitor who competed in the overall with me was well-deserved. He walked away with first, obviously, in his height class, and he, I was, it was very close, I think, in, for the overall. It was a very, very exciting time, and uh, it was by the time <laughs> by the time we got to the overall, my cheeks were cramping up and <laughs> from smiling so much. It was a great experience. All this is to say, we had a fantastic time, and we really just it was a phenomenal group of people, great competitors. Um, very grateful that we were able to 
put on they were able to put on a show given the circumstances and I'm very very happy with the outcome obviously I'm happy with the outcome because I won one of the classes and I got best poser but it was just so much fun to be on stage again to compete in a sport that I deem mine and that I feel exceptional within. So without further ado, further ado, let's uh, let's show you the show and enjoy. Yes, yes, yes. Merci, 